if you chose this card right here which is the lover card then this is your pile um we're gonna look into what happened between you and this person that you're asking about in terms of like the karma and then we're gonna look into what your karma is as well as advice um maybe something that you can be able to do to be able to heal from this situation but i'm gonna go ahead and lay the cards out and kind of get into your reading Put this over here all right Let's see i mean i feel like due to the fact that um we have this card right here i feel like that definitely demonstrates the fact that obviously this is someone that you had a romantic relationship with so let me go ahead and flip the cards over and give me a second to tune into the energy you guys and then i'm going to start with your reading yikes you definitely were in a roller coaster ride when it came to this person that's for sure um has not been an easy process for you on top of that you've gone through a you've, you've gone through so much pain like this this ending or just yeah this relationship was very painful for you and it ended very painful like there was definitely some type of betrayal and it's definitely it has to do with love this person didn't give you a love offer or they may have tried to make it seem as if they were going to give you a love offer even though that wasn't really ever going to be a thing that wasn't going to actually happen so there was definitely a lot of illusions that were casted in this this could have caused you to be imbalanced a lot of the time it could have also mess with, mess with your self-esteem to the point where now you're in a period of recovery where you're having to heal this aspect of yourself and actually learn to love yourself again and also not doubt yourself anymore because this could have also caused you to have issues with self-doubt this person was very manipulative mentally and emotionally because we have like the king of swords in reverse um i'm hearing that they also used sex against you as well i don't want to mention that but that is something else i'm picking up on and this person just kept you in this energy where you just felt imbalanced because you're like okay what are we are we this or are we that like is this going to turn into something deeper or is it just going to be this surface level relationship where it's just sex and that's it you may have moved quickly in this connection as well this person really hurt you guys it, it really broke your heart some of you i'm definitely even picking up like there could have been like a third party situation or they could have been like with you and then sleeping around with other people or there could have been you and like one other person but there's definitely like an outsider energy for others of you guys there could have been a lot of gossip like this person triangulate a lot of people against you and talked a lot of shit about you it could have caused a lot of your own wounding and triggers to come up as well And this person also has an addiction to sex as we also have like obsessive passion that harms others self-destructive devotion you guys were very devoted to this person because you thought that you were going to be able to get that long-term commitment where there's the emotional support and there's emotional intimacy and the person has emotional intellect but this person only mirrored back to you what it is that you actually are so you fell for this person or you end up having strong feelings for this person but the thing is you weren't ever going to get that emotional fulfillment that you wanted from this connection. You weren't going to get that mental fulfillment. You weren't going to get the relationship that you always craved. And some of you guys, you may have like stayed in this connection with this person for a while because like there's some wounding there from your past where you allowed behaviors like this from people because you didn't really recognize your worth. You could have already had self-worth issues and then you got into a connection with this person and things just kind of escalated from there. That hurts my heart. I'm so sorry you guys went through this. And like I said, this was a cycle that you guys went through constantly. Eventually, it got to the point where something happened where they betrayed you. You found out the truth about something. And then it really sliced you. And you cut things off. And you've just been in no contact. And you've been in recovery trying to heal because, like, you're, you're still hurting. I'm also picking up on you guys are still really, really angry at this person as well, which honestly makes a lot of sense why you would be angry because of what they did but at the same time you guys also have this awareness of what you allowed when it came to this connection too i'm not blaming you guys for what happened but i also have to be keep it real and say you did choose to be with this person but at the same time it was not your fault for not knowing that this person was manipulating you guys this person was very covert with the stuff that they did it was very subtle so like anyone could have got caught up in this if they didn't know any better you know 
But let's go ahead and look into what their karma is. I'm so sorry y'all dealt with that. That's, that's shit. Mm. Okay, so give me a second, you guys, because there's a lot of things I'm picking up on, but hold on. Okay, so this person, they're going, they're going to be, they, okay, they're going to be going, the stuff that they put you through they're going to deal with that in a significant relationship. They could actually be dealing with that right now for some of you guys as they could have like chose someone else over you and now they're with that person and now they're being treated the same way that they did you. Um, this person made you like just really dogged you out. It made you feel like you did not matter. And it really affected you guys to the point where you guys even start feeling embarrassed for even allowing this person's behavior, like allowing them to treat you like this. You even asked yourself, damn, why the fuck did I let this person do this to me when I know I didn't deserve it? That's kind of how you guys were feeling. And then this person's going to be stuck being single, being in unfulfilling connections. They're going to feel alone in a lot of these connections because there's not going to be that emotional availability that is that they want, but they never gave you that, did they? No. They were emotionally unavailable. They made you feel like crap about yourself. And they made you make, feel like you were a problem, like there was something wrong with you because you're empathic nature. I'm even hearing there could have been some competition or some jealousy too. They're not going to be able to move on from you. That's another part of their karma as well. They're not going to be able to transition away from this situation. It's like they're going to be constantly reminded of what happened between you guys. Um, they're going to be seeing the truth of that too. So they can't run away from it. Everything in their life is going to show them what they did wrong, not just with you guys and this connection, but other people. Because I'm hearing that they've done this to many other people too. So their the karma happened after what happened with you guys. But... This is happening because of what they did to you, but then also, like I said, other people. So the ways that they treated you guys and everybody else, this is the reason why this is going to be happening to them. Because they haven't learned their lesson. They haven't stopped. They keep doing this stuff because they think it's okay. They could have even did that whole thing where they like devalued you and then, and then discarded you and then made you feel like you had to chase after them or make them or they caused you to feel like you had to show you like how worthy you are of their love but they made you feel a void i definitely do pick up this person has some narcissistic tendencies or behaviors this person is very selfish very egotistical ego egotistical did not care about your feelings whatsoever they didn't care that they were hurting you and it, like it's almost like they got off on it if i'm being perfectly honest with you guys some of you guys, they may end up getting stuck in a partnership where they feel like they don't have any emotional support whatsoever and they feel lonely in that connection, but they can't get out of it. It could be like a marriage or a long-term partnership. And they're going to try to do things to try to like run away, but Spirit's like, no, sorry. We're not letting you go through this whole thing where you choose to hurt someone and cause damage in your wake and then you leave and move on to like another victim like we're not doing that sorry about that you guys had to take care of something at the door but um yeah they're gonna want to run away and try to like move away from the situation that they put themselves in this is not someone who takes accountability for anything that is that they say and do but they're gonna be stuck in this and like i said this person that they're with or this person that they're about to get involved with is about to treat them the same way. For others of you, this person's not even going to be able to get into another connection. And I am hearing for some like issues with um, re reproducing or impotency. I am picking up on that too because Spirit's telling me that. But another thing I want to say too is like for like they might end up being single and no one will actually want to date them. They may even lose friendships as well. That's something else I am picking up for this group. But let me see what else in terms of like what karma they are going to be going through after hurting you. Yeah, like I was saying, they're going to try to run. But here's the thing that's going to end up happening. People are going to be running away from them. Or like I said, they're going to be stuck in this partnership or this marriage and they can't leave. They won't be able to let go. And there's going to be a lot of turmoil because of the fact that they have a fear of intimacy. 
But at the same time, they think it's okay to manipulate people. So I just, I don't know. And they're going to be haunted by what happened between you guys, like I mentioned earlier, because they're going to be constantly replaying what happened between you guys, what they did to you, what they said. They know what they did was wrong. I just want to let you guys know that. So if it's a thing where you doubted that they didn't know that and they were sitting there trying to manipulate you and gaslight you to tell you that, make it seem as they didn't know. No, they knew. They knew what the fuck they were doing when they treated you the way that they did. So I just want to mention that. Let me go ahead and get some advice for you guys, too. I'm really not trying to talk crap, but I really don't like people like this. I think people like this are pretty disgusting, and I don't like that they treat people like that. Okay, they're telling me no reversals. Okay. Okay. So one thing is really standing out to me right away is they want you to let go of the old. And they want you to observe. Observe your thoughts, your feelings. Um, you may also be experiencing hypervigilance right now, too, because of the damage that this, this person has caused you. Um, but you're eventually going to get to a period where you're able, this is not going to affect you as much. You're not going to be as hypervigilant. You're going to also see the source of like where this came from, like what they triggered within you so you can be able to work through it as well. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you guys don't like hearing, oh, this is a lesson, but a lot of times it is. Do, and I don't think anyone deserves it. I think it's really messed up. I think it's painful experiences that we go through, especially the ups and downs. But yeah, um, they're also wanting you to do a better job of like protecting your heart as well. Don't automatically open it up to someone let them show that they deserve it. Let them work for it. Don't do this thing where you automatically give up like sex or your attention to this person. No, make them like they have to earn that shit. You're valuable. So, you know, you're a fucking prize. So they need to fucking treat you like such. And if they don't, ask them. They need to go away. Like just be like, cut, cut them loose. Let them go where they need to go. Also, um, they want you to accept the fact that change is unavoidable and they want you to know that like right now you may be in pain from the situation, but you are going to get to a point where this is not hurting as much. You're still going to have your triggers and triggers to work through, but you will go through a certain level of healing and it will get easier over time. And I know right now you don't want to hear that and it doesn't feel like that that's going to be the case, but that is going to eventually happen. You do, you can actually heal from these types of things. You can. But there's also a lot of things that you have to do, too, to be able to do that. So I also want to recommend this as well. If you feel called to um, therapy, then maybe maybe think about, like, contacting or getting in connection with the therapist to help you to be able to work through these wounds also. I can't really think of any self-help books that would help this right now, but I would recommend that. Um, you also want to work on, like, learning to trust yourself better or just, again, and then also work on your self-doubt. You want to work on your solar, solar plexus, your sacral, honestly, all of your chakras. But the main ones I'm picking up on is like your throat chakra, your heart chakra, sacral, and then also your solar plexus. And maybe even possibly like your root because that's tied to like your security, but it's also tied to like fears as well. Um, and you're going to have to work on like how you're viewing things and viewing yourself. So this is definitely going to be a good time to reprogram your subconscious. So if you feel called to also, I would recommend listening to certain subliminals that can help you heal from this or just narcissistic abuse or just abusive relationships. That way you can be able to heal that like this or transmute this energy that way too. Um, they're also wanting you to see the signs. And I think it's because like they're wanting you to notice that you are valuable and you get signs about that throughout the day, but it's like you don't really truly believe that. And it's because, like I said, this person, unfortunately, caused you to end up having a, a deficit within yourself where you don't feel that you're as loving or like you don't, you, you don't feel, hmm, how do I put this in words? It's not that you don't feel worthy of love, even though there is that feeling of that, but it's like it's more so you're fearful of like getting judged. There's definitely shame and guilt there for you being yourself. 
and you're, there's also abandonment issues there or, or fear of being rejected, but it's also like you're fearful of like getting abuse again, which I have to say that that's perfectly understandable. But it's also another thing where ah, I'm trying my best to put this into words, you guys. I'm having a hard time. They just want you to see how valuable you are, how amazing you are, how resourceful you are, how smart you are, how attractive you are, how you have a beautiful heart. They want you to notice those things about yourself. They don't want you to put yourself down and feel unworthy of everything that you could ever want, need, and more just because the way that this person, just because of the damage that this person put in your wake. But um, pile number one, that is it for your reading. If it resonates with you, please let me know in the comment section below. Please also give this video a like if you like the video and also if it resonates with you. Also, thank you guys so much for the likes, the comments, the shares, and the subscribes. And until then, you guys, I bid you guys adieu. Bye, pile one. Okay, pile two, if you chose hero and or heroine, then this, then this is your reading. I'm going to go ahead and look into what happened between you and this person, and then we're going to look into what karma that they're going to be receiving, as well as some advice that Spirit wants you to know. Maybe it could be like about like what you can, how you can be able to heal from this situation, or maybe just some advice in general, but I'm going to go ahead and lay the cards out for you guys, and then I'm going to connect to the energy and start your reading, okay? Okay, I... Before I even get into the reading, I'm just going to mention this. I definitely sense the fact that this person made it seem as if they could help you out with your situations or whenever you needed help. They're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm here for you. You know, I love you. I'll help you out. But the thing is though, they never did. They left you to fall flat on your face. And if they did help you with things, it was only as a form of manipulation. So that way they can get gain your trust for you to be able to possibly do what it is that you that they want you to do because there is something that they felt that they were benefiting from or gaining from you um it could be finances it could be sex it could be companionship but there's something that they felt that they were able to gain from you it could even be like your expertise in something or your skill set maybe this is someone that you work with or maybe it's a thing where it would make their image seem better or appear better almost like it's like rate like the, they're okay it could be a thing kind of almost like black mirror where they have a certain social score okay but then it's like you come into life and you're on their shoulder on the arm that yeah you're you're sitting there on the side of them and it's like it makes them look better so it like it raises their social score because like by themselves they there's not really much going on <laughs> I don't know how else to put in the words besides like there's not much going on. They don't really have much going for them. Um, this person may also rely on like their looks to be able to attract people, but that's it. They don't really give anything in return, but I'm going to still go ahead and go into the rest of like what happened between you guys, but that's definitely what I'm picking up right now. Okay. Yeah, this was definitely someone who was very charming with their words. And I definitely just keep getting this vibe that this person was trying to use you. And I'm hearing that they were trying to use you to try to advance in a certain part of their life, whether that was like a job or a certain way of living. Some of you guys could have money. And maybe this person, like I said, they used you for that and caused you to have issues with finances or you start having issues with finances after being involved with this person. Some of you guys, this could just be a friend that's not even romantic at all. Um, but this is someone who's very charismatic. Um, they love giving gifts. That's kind of one of the ways that they also manipulate people. So that way they gain their trust. So it's like they're just that type of person that they will only do. They will only do things for people if they know that they can be able to get something in return later on. So say if there's a situation where they get into some type of trouble, they know that that person will not only have their trust, but they'll help them out of the situations that they have put themselves in. You could have also felt abandoned or felt left out in the cold from this person as well. And like I said, for okay, and I also want to say for some of you guys, this is someone from school. 
So for some of you guys, it's a job. Others, it's school. This person could even be, I'm hearing like a psychology ma major, or maybe you guys both are, but there's something like with learning and also psychology that I'm picking up on very strongly. Maybe this is someone who knows a lot about psychology and so they manipulate people. I'm hearing that they use dark psychology and I'm also picking up on maybe, and I'm seeing like Mar Machiavellian or dry, dark triad in some way. Yikes. Um... I'm hearing this person wanted to hold you back in some way or they didn't want you to surpass them in a certain level of success or even something with grades. Like maybe this is someone who's competitive and they're in competition with you. For some of you guys, it could be like maybe it's like your looks or maybe a community that you're a part of. It's like this person doesn't want you to outshine them. They may have did certain things to try to sabotage you or to push you to dim yourself so you weren't sh sh so you weren't fully showing up as yourself like this person was very aware of you having insecurities they may have studied you they may have even stole like a lot of your ideas or things that you did so that way they can get a certain level of i'm hearing like praise or accolades for what they do even though they stole that information or those ideas from you but they try to pass it off as if it was theirs I'm not really picking up that you guys were like friends, friends. This is more like a frenemies type of thing. So like they may, like you may have like came in this person's like also to help them. And, um, you know, they may appear to be very fragile. Like they get hurt very easily, but secretly they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I'm hearing you're not the first person that they've done these types of things to. They've manipulated people in other ways too. So like to everyone else on the outside, They'll appear as if they don't cause harm to people and, you know, they might be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm really depressed and, like, no one actually loves me and no one cares about me and da 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 But then when someone does get close to them, they burn them. They treat them like crap. So they may even, like, gossip a lot and try to paint you or other people one way, even though they're truly the ones who were manipulating the whole time. I'm thinking of this anime. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. I'm not going to recommend you watch it unless you want to. This show is kind of annoying at times. I even still have this on DVD to this day, but it's called Peach Girl. It came out a few, it came out years ago, but there was, like, this character named Momo. You know, there's a lot of gossip about her. I feel like you guys are Momo. Um, there was this girl who was named Sai. She was like her best friend, but she was secretly envious of her. And she tried to do some really messed up stuff to try to spread gossip about her. And to like, it's just, she was not who she, she was not being herself in front of others. And she would treat Momo like such other crap. And it just, it makes me sad. Um, I can't think of any, any anything else on like how to put that into words for that show, but yeah, she spread lies about her. She tried to get, like, with the guy that she had a crush on that she was in a relationship with. And, like, she just did all kinds of messed up stuff. There's some other things, too, that I'm not going to fully go into. But, like, she tried to get some people to do some certain things to her as well, which, I'm again, I'm going to be quiet about that. If you've seen the show, then you know what I'm talking about. This of all that, I feel like that's kind of, like, how you guys were. Like, Momo was the gorgeous girl. You know, she was tan. She was really, she was, like, really good at swimming she was like the top person for the swim team um but a lot of people try to say oh she's a slut she's a whore she this she that you know just spreading a lot of lies and then side join in on that even though that's not what it was and like anytime like momo tried to expose Sai for what she did a lot of times it would end up backfiring eventually people end up learning the truth about her but she was such a nice person that she eventually ended up forgiving Sai. And then letting her come back in her life. And I'm, I feel like I'm saying that because maybe that's what this person was for you. I'm definitely picking up, again, school vibes, very strong. Uh, this is someone, or this could have been someone that you've been friends with since you were a kid. Like maybe this is a childhood friend. That's another thing I'm picking up on too, or someone that you just have known for a long time. But I don't really sense that this is romantic. I sense it's mainly friendship, like platonic. This person may even have like a habit of trying to make it seem as if they needed to be saved or they needed help, but it was only a way to manipulate. And I'm hearing scheme. 
they may have wanted people to look at you for who you weren't versus who you are. And they may have also, like the way that they spread lies, and this is very malicious, they did it in a way where they projected their own insecurities and stuff on you to make it seem as, as, as if you were like that, even though they were actually like that. And so sadly, a lot of people, because of jealousy and stuff like that, they believed it, even though that's not how you are. That's not the type of person that you are. I'm hearing that you're a really sweet, compassionate, loving, empathic person, um, and that you don't honestly treat people like crap. You may have had to deal with issues with like codependency in terms of like people pleasing. So there could have been some manipulation that way, but like I'm hearing that you've outgrown that. Um, you just try to help people who come along your path, honestly, and you try to help this person, but this person did not turn out to be what you thought they were going to be. And neither did the friendship. So I'm hearing this person could definitely still be in your life right now. Or it could be like in passing, or maybe you're still part of the same friend group, or there's just still people who are still in contact with this person. And so that's, so you kind of know about what's going on with them from other people, or, you know, there's like something where someone's keeping a watchful eye on someone. I don't know if this person tries to talk to friends that maybe know you to try to get information to know what's going on with you and why you guys aren't talking anymore. Because I'm hearing you guys may have ghosted this person or just kind of just, yeah, you want no contact out of nowhere. Um, another thing I'm picking up on too is like maybe they're looking on your social media or it's just there's something that they're trying to do to you to get information to know what's going on with you because like they want to be friends again. But it's like, you're, why would you want to after them not being who they say they are and spreading lies and gossiping? I, I just... And I'm hearing, ooh, I'm hearing that you guys try to confront this person about this. But what ended up happening is they lied to you and said that, said that they didn't. You, didn't. you didn't hear that they talked crap about you, I'm hearing? Like, maybe you sensed it. You kept sensing an off energy with this person. And you kept feeling, like, this energy of them being untrustworthy or the fact that they were talking crap. But you never had, like, any 3D proof, per se, but you just felt something off. Like you guys may have had like, the, again, the same friend group and you would hang out with the friends, but then you notice like you guys would be really close with certain friends, but then they would act really weird or distant with you after hanging out with this other person that you were friends with that you're talking about in this, that's being talked about in this reading. And they would be distant and hang out with them more and stuff. And you're like, okay, something's not right there. Something really off or weird is going on here. And that's something that you definitely noticed. That's not in your head. I want to say that you're right. And so if you wanted confirmation to know if that person was spreading lies about you, here's the reading for you for the get that confirmation, that validation, let you know that, yes, your intuition was accurate with what you're picking up for that. Uh, let's go ahead and look into like what their karma is. I'm hearing uh, betrayal. Yeah, I'm strongly picking up on betrayal. All right, give me a second to tune into the energy for this real quick, you guys. There's going to be something that's going to end up happening that's going to make them think about the situation between you guys, or they just spend a lot of time thinking about this situation a lot, but they're trying to avoid looking at what they did. They're avoiding looking at their emotions. They're avoiding, it's like, they may have, I guess, some form of a conscience. They know what they did, but it's like they don't want to admit to it. They don't want to face it. They don't want to self-reflect. They want to be able to, like, reconcile or be friends with you again. Um, but that's not going to happen. But I'm also picking up on, like, there may be a thing where, like, maybe they're stuck to someone or tied to someone. Oh, these other friends. Yeah, they're going to betray them. The way that they were sitting there talking crap about you and try to make them look at you a certain way by saying, oh, yeah, you know, pile number two d said this, this, and this, and did this, this, and this, even though that's not what you did or said, that's going to be exposed. That's one thing. And people are going to start seeing them for who they are. But also, I'm hearing that there's going to be something where they're stuck to some type of relationship or something with this friend group that's going to be like on lockdown that they won't be able to run away from. They're going to have issues with also trying to change and transform. So, like, I'm just picking up, like, they're going to be stuck in this cycle of dealing with people who gossip and talk crap and are, like, low vibrational and 
you know, they just operate in a low vibrational way. Like they're going to be stuck with that feeling lonely, feeling like they don't have any support from anybody else, feeling abandoned and feeling unloved is what I'm hearing. And they're going to be getting betrayed by these other people that they thought were actually their friends that they talked crap about you to. And these people are going to do the same thing to them. But I'm hearing that they're not even going to have the galls to actually stand up for themselves to these people. What else is their karma? Okay, so this, I guess, is what's tied to this King of Pentacles also. Um, it's going to be hard for them to be able to build friendship with, friendships with other people because it's going to be always built off of a false foundation because they're always going to be wearing a mask. And because of the fact that they are operating in that energy, because you attract what you are, they're going to be attracting other people who also are just as fake as them too, is basically what I'm saying. They're also going to have issues with love. I'm hearing self-love, but it's also like just relationships in general. They're going to be dealing with a lot of selfish people. And like they may even have someone in their life right now that they're dating or in a commitment with where they're thinking, oh, this is like my soulmate or my twin flame. But I'm hearing that this person's going to, ooh, I hate to say this, but this is what's picking, what I'm picking up on. They're going to be stuck in this connection, like tied to them, whether that's like through marriage or a long-term commitment. I'm hearing for some, there could be some type of um, contract. Maybe it's something to work, but there's just going to be something that's going to be a binding contract for them. Maybe it is tied to money in some way too. But let me go ahead and get into advice for you guys in just a second. Okay, no reversals. All right. Okay, so you may have had some fears about the truth of this person, like, or even like fears of like something coming out for you. But I'm hearing like, because you're worried about your skeletons coming out of closet. But I hate to tell you, yes, this person did spread your business. Unfortunately, I have to be honest about that. So a lot of things that you told in confidence to them, they unfortunately were telling other people about it. But um, spirit wants you to see the truth of this situation. See this person for who they are. They want you to also recognize that um, they're always connected to you. And what I mean by they is like your spirit team. They're here with you. You're not doing this by yourself. You're not grieving this by yourself. They're here. Um, I'm hearing ask them for support and also like you can ask them for help and they're they're gonna help you through this you're not doing this by yourself so if you're needing help with healing it's okay to ask them for that um you guys definitely deal with anxiety and you feel like you're upset about this whole thing because you're like damn you know i just want to be able to meet a friend who's not going to betray me and or be jealous of me or try to sabotage me in some way. Like, can I just have like a friend that's healthy, that values me, that's going to put in the same work that I put in, that also va uh, values and cares about working on themselves? Like, can I have a friendship like that? Um, and so like, you don't like the fact that you're different because like you've had to deal with a lot of people like this. And when people act like this, it makes you feel rejected, which I have to say that that's perfectly understandable. But they're wanting you to embrace these emotions that you're having. These darker emotions, don't run away from them. Embrace them. They're there for a reason. And they just want to be acknowledged. They're a part of you as well. And remember, emotions ebb and flow. But also, like, your emotions are also kind of tied to some, like, the fears that you're having, too. And, like, I think you guys are, like, you guys went through a lot. Not just with this person, but just, like, friendships in general. You never really truly had like a true friend or if you did like something, I don't, yeah, you guys never really had a true friendship. And spirits saying like when your are emotions and your fears are getting the best of you, that would be a perfect time for you to ground yourself, fill out your emotions. Um, find like, 
some things that you can be able to do to ground yourself back into your body. Because like when you're in that state of fear like that, you're disconnected from your body and you're too much in your mind. Um, there's this one technique I'm trying to think of. It's for EMDR. I think it's called the butterfly technique. You can actually use that as a way to be able to regulate your emotions. That way you're not too overwhelmed by these fears that are coming up. And they're wanting you to do more things to be able to nourish your soul, whether that's like eating or pampering yourself or taking care of yourself more. I know that you may be feeling like crap after this person and this situation, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't still take care of yourself and treat yourself the way that you've always wanted to be taken care of. It starts with yourself first and then it reverberates out. So I know it can be hard and sometimes it's even hard to get out of bed, but just know that you're doing the best that you can and be proud of of yourself for the fact that you're even being able to get out of bed that within itself is still rewarding but that is it for your reading pile number two if it resonate with you please let me know in the comment section and also if you like this video please give it a like if it resonate with you please also give it a like also thank you guys so much for the likes the comments and the shares and the subscribes i really really appreciate it and until then, pile number two, I bid you guys adieu. Okay, pile number three. If you chose this Finn Fatel, then this is your reading. I'm going to go ahead and look into like what happened between you and this person. And then we're going to look into what their karma is, as well as like any advice that spirit has for you for like maybe there's something that you need help with being able to heal from this connection or just advice in general. But give me one second. Okay, so before I even flip these cards off, I'm just going to say this. The person that you were dealing with, um, it could have been a very sexual relationship or just sexually natured in general. And this person could have used sex in a way to manipulate you or they wanted to have power over you. Yeah, they used their sexuality against you, unfortunately. They, wanted, they made it where you got attached and addicted to them to the point where you didn't have a life outside of them. Like the whole soul focus was this person. You were chasing after them. You were always like texting them and calling them, always trying to hang out all the time. But I'm hearing that this person ignored you, treat you like crap, didn't really care um, to like really get to know you better. Like in any time they didn't contact you, it was only at nighttime just so you can be able to hook up. And if they did take you out on dates and stuff here and there, it was still always to take you back to their place or yours and hook up. It wasn't about anything deeper than that. And I think you knew this. Others of you, it could be a thing too, like where maybe they use sex and also money against you. And they definitely wanted you to be dependent on them. And it like stroked their ego and made them feel good. Because it's like, ooh, yeah, I got this person chasing after me. I must be hot shit. And the thing is, it's sad because like, I don't even think you guys realize how amazing you are. And like the fact is like a lot of you guys are also attractive too. But it's like this person, I'm hearing like this person triggered like you to have like an anxious attachment style with them and made you feel like you had to chase after them. Like you had to try to get their attention and they were like withholding affection or attention or just certain things against you. Like, and like I said, it could have also been like money or even sex, but I'm definitely picking up like you guys had an addiction to having sex with this person. You were addicted to the P or the D and this person knew that and they liked having that control over you. They liked having that power over you because like I said, it made them feel good. This person definitely broke your heart, made it even seem as if your connection was going to elevate more to just sex, but no, it was only about sex. They only cared about getting sex from you, and I'm sorry to say this too, and I don't like it. I feel like you guys were definitely coerced into doing that with them. You probably didn't even want to do that to, be, to begin with or with them at, at first, but then something happened where you got triggered and you... You end up becoming hypersexual and wanting to connect with them. 
I'm trying to be collect, like selective with my words because I don't want to offend anyone with what it is that I'm saying, like what I'm picking up on. And I'm trying not to censor myself, but I kind of am. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying not to. But um, this person definitely fucked with your self-esteem, fucked with your foundation. They broke your heart. You felt lost without this person as well. And you felt like you didn't know who you were anymore. And it's because like a lot of your self-worth went to this person and the amount of attention that they gave you if they had sex with you. Maybe you also went and tried to have sex with them also because it made you feel wanted or it made you feel like this person reciprocated how you felt. This was definitely unrequited. It was one-sided. But the thing is, this person, they didn't actually feel the same way about you. They're only trying to give you like the relationship treatment so that way they can get what they want from you. All of it was done out of, out of manipulation just to get sex out of you. For others, like maybe they just wanted to be able to get money from you. They could, and like I said, they could have used both of those things. They weren't interested in giving you an, a, an, an emotional commitment. Like I'm hearing you even try to get this person to open up emotionally, but they just didn't. They just kept everything surface level and it was mainly about the sex. Like you could have hung out at their house and like they could have fucking ignored you and just like watch Netflix or TV in general and like didn't even pay attention to you. It's like you guys would hook up and then that's it. Like this person just, mm -mm. and then it would even be a thing you went home or like a few days passed and like this person never contacted you or anything. You feel like you just had to keep trying to get their attention because they were ignoring you. But here's the thing, they were ignoring you purposely. And I have to mention this as well, even though I know you guys don't want to want me to say this, but this person had other options as well. That's why they weren't as focused on you. They kept you on the back burner, whereas they're pursuing other people. You know, they're on Tinder and stuff like that, talking to other people and like going out on dates with them and stuff, whereas they only kept you in the house. They weren't actually... I mean, just even with that alone, that was BC also showcasing to you that they weren't wanting a commitment with you. They didn't like you like that. They just liked the sex. They thought the sex was good and that's all they wanted. And like I said, they, 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 they thought it was so fucking hot how like you chase after them. It made them feel confident in themselves. So this person also deals with self-esteem issues. They get their self-esteem filled by the attention of other people and through sex and like they get their validation through those things or through money or power but the ways in which they obtain that is harmful to others now let me go ahead and look into um go ahead and look into their karma That's funny. So the way that they treated you, using you for sex, using you for attention, using you for money, they're going to be, they're going to end up having a significant relationship that comes into their life if they're not already in that right now, where they're going to be treated the same way. But here's the thing, they're going to be stuck to this person. They may even end up, if not like a long-term commitment, be married to this person as well. Like they may get married to this person and this person's not going to give them the love that it is that they want. They're going to feel rejected by this person. This person's going to be, it's like, they're going to come off very bored and just apathetic when it comes to the connection. They're not going to put in as much work as the person that you're asking about. Um, on top of that, like this person is going to wear a mask and be able to know how to manipulate your, the person that you're asking about. And they're going to charm their pants off literally, and um, use that as a way to manipulate to get what they want from them. But what I mean by this is they're going to charm them and put on a mask as if they're one way, even though they're actually not. And by the time that mask comes off, it's going to be too late and the person that you're asking about won't be able to leave. Um, they're going to be upset with the choice that they made in romance because this person is not motherly and nurturing like the way you were. I'm hearing that you were there for this person emotionally as well, but they were not there for you emotionally. They didn't show up for you in that, that kind of way. If you're going through different things in your situation, you may have like tried to vent to this person about it. They didn't care. They only cared about themselves. They may even like cause a lot of the conversations to be centered more about them. This person was very 
very selfish, very egotistical. They didn't care about you and your feelings. They only cared about what they can get. And since you were able to give those things to them for free without having to even really be in a long-term commitment, they're like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to keep this person a back burner while I also focus on these other connections. Some of you guys, you could have been like the, the side piece and you didn't even know it. And they could have been in a connection with somebody else secretly, but then still trying to pursue you behind the scenes. But a lot of people didn't even know about you. You were a secret. This person's also going to be like kind of like a gold digger pretty much is going to use them for the, all of their money. They're going to know the right words to say, the right things to do to get this from them. Let's look at what else their karma is going to be. Like I said, they're going to end up being married to this person, but it's not going to be what they think it's going to be. They're, I don't know why people do this and then think, oh, I'm going to get into another connection. This person's going to treat me the way I want. and I'm going to have that perfect relationship I always wanted. But they don't think that they don't get the fact that when you treat people like the way that they treated you, you're going to be done the same. The law of cause and effect. What you put out, you get back. This, person, this person's going to cross over their boundaries just like they did you. And this person's going to be very hurt by this connection as well. And they're not going to be able to deal with this connection really well either. Um, there's going to be a lot of truths and rev revelations that they have about themselves, this situation, like with this person that they're going to be with, but then also with you guys. They're going to realize that they're in the situation that they're in because of what they did to you. Some of you guys, they may even want to try to come back because they're going to feel stuck in this connection, but I'm hearing don't go back. And for some of you guys, you already know you're not going to go back. For others of you guys, though, there's still like some hope that you're holding out for this person. It's like, no, like, you know, you need to just continue moving forward. Don't take this person back. This person did you dirty. They're sitting there using you for your body. That's disgusting. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get your advice. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that like you can have other romantic connections and have people who are more on your level and not deal with people like this anymore. Um, but they want you to focus on having those type of connections, not, oh, I want this. No, you have, and then insert what type of connection that is that you're wanting. Focusing, focus on the good. Um, and what I mean by this is don't keep thinking, oh, I'm going to attract someone like this again. Cause like, I know there's fear, but it's not going to happen for you. Okay. Um, but it also depends on how you're viewing this whole thing. Also, I'm hearing for some of you guys, like I said, this person might try to come back. Do not let your emotions get the best of you and cause you to not see things clearly and then end up taking this person back. And then you guys go through this karmic cycle again. Please choose yourself. Please make yourself the center of your life. Make yourself a priority. And also know that your emotions are going to be able to get to a point of calmness, of being tempered, okay? Balanced. You will find balance again after this, if you haven't already. I'm picking up a lot of you guys are actually well on your way towards that, but there are some of you who are still working on that right now. But um, don't be scared to sit in the water. And what I mean by the water is your emotions. <laughs> But pile number three, I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. If it resonates with you, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, please give this video a like. And if it resonates with you, please give it a like also. Thank you guys so much for the likes, the comments, and the shares, and the subscribes. And pile number three, I bid you guys adieu. Bye, guys.